right, this video is, will show you how to round to the nearest 10, to the nearest 100, and to the nearest 1,000. Okay, so in order to start rounding, we are going to use the song to help us that we've been learning in class. And remember, if it's five or more, let it soar, four or less, let it rest. All right, well, what does that mean again? Okay, so that means if the number that we're using to help us round which is the number right next door to whatever place we're rounding, the tens, the hundreds, or the thousands. If it's five or more, we're going to let the answer soar. It's going to soar to the next ten, higher up, okay? So that means if the number is seven right here, okay, and we're over here, because seven is five or more, the number is going to soar until it gets to ten, okay? So we're going to soar this number, ten, seven to ten. But if it's five or less, or four or less, so here's four. If it's four or less, the number is going to rest, which means it rounds down to the lower ten. Okay, so let's say the number was three, right? That's four or less, so the number would rest. We would send it down to the lower number, the lower ten, the lower, or, um, yeah, the lower ten, the lower hundred, the lower thousand. So five or more, let it soar, four or less, let it rest, like the song. All right, so let's see then here. How do we do this? I have the number 278. Now the first thing you need to realize and then you need to know is that what am I rounding to? So I'm rounding to the nearest 10, this is important. So where is my tens place? Here. Okay, seven tens, 70. All right, now sometimes students get confused because they're like, well, the number is 278, so I'm rounding to the nearest 100, right? Nope, you are rounding to the nearest 10, so always check to see what you're doing. So let's label our number line. So I'm rounding to the nearest 10, so on my number line, I'm going to write whatever is my in my tens place right now. Okay, so I have seven tens, <coughs> that's 70. The 200 stays the same because that's part of the number, 270. So I'm asking myself, is this 270 closer, is this number closer to 270 or the next 10, which is up here, 280? All right, so here's my number line. Let's double check I had 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So here I have 270, here I have 280 on my number line. Now this midpoint here is also important for us to label. So what's in between 270 and 280? 275. That's my midpoint. It's right in between 270, 280. Let's double check to make sure that's indeed 275. So this is 270, 271. 272, 273, 274, 275. Yes. Okay. So I have my number line set up here in order to help me round this number, 278. Now it's time to actually add 278 to my number line. So if this is 275, 276, 277, 278. So 278 goes on the number line. Let's draw a dot so we know that's where we're at. My dot, that doesn't really look like a dot. Okay. <laughs> All right, so 278. Now remember, I am rounding to the nearest 10. So I have my number line set up here. Here's my tens place. I'm going to look right next door to the ones place to help me. Okay. So. And this is the digit that's going to help you soar the number or rest the number. So then you think of the song again. If it's five or more, let it soar, four or less, let it rest. Whoops, not that one. Here we go. So is eight five or more or four or less? Well, it's above five here, so it's five or more. That means 278 is going to round to 280 because the eight, the number next door is gonna help me round the seven, the seven tens, that is, 70. So 70, 278 is closer to 280 than it is closer to 270. 
you can actually see that fairly well on your number line, can't you? It's pretty close to 280. It's not as close to 270. But, so you can use the number line to help you visually see that it's closer to 280, and also to use the song and the, the digit next door to help you round 278 to 280. So let's try the next one. 1,424. Now, am I rounding to the nearest hundred? Am I rounding to the nearest thousand? Or am I rounding to the nearest ten? Well, I'm still rounding to the nearest ten. Let's start using my number line to help me. So, nearest ten. This is my tens place. Okay, that means my first number on the number line is 1,420. Okay, that's my tens place. 1,420. My next 10 is 1,430. Because you're asking yourself, is this number closer to 1,420 or 1,430? Okay. I always need to add my, at my midpoint. This will help me organize my thoughts and organize my information. 1,425 is right in the middle of 1,420 and 1,430. So, where is 1,224 on the number line? Right here. Because 1,420, 121, 22, 23, and 24. 1,424 is right here on my number line. Again, not going there yet. There we go. So, I'm set up. I'm ready to round. I'm rounding to the tens place. Okay, I'm gonna look right next door to the ne next door to the neighbor. My neighbor is the ones place this time, and I have a four in the neighbor spot. So is it five or more, or four or less? Okay, the neighbor is four or less, which means I'm going to round 1,424 down. I'm gonna let it rest. So it's five or more. You let it soar, four or less let it rest. So it's resting. So 1,424 rounds to 1,420. 278 rounds to 280. So that's rounding to the nearest 10. What happens if I'm rounding to the nearest 100? Okay, so this time, oh, I'm dealing with the hundreds place. This means on my number line, I'm not dealing with tens anymore. I'm dealing with hundreds. So here I have 400 at the beginning of my number line. At the end of my number line is the next 100 because I'm rounding to the nearest 100. So that means I'm looking to see if 483 is closer to 400 or 500. Now, boys and girls, what is in between 400 and 500? Right in the middle of 400 and 500 is 450. So I'm not dealing with fives anymore. I'm dealing with 50s. 0, 50, 100. But in this case, 400, 450, 500. Now let's count. Usually there are 10 on here. Well, there are on this example for sure. But now, this is not 401, 402, 403. If this is 450, this is 400 and 500. That means each one of these places is now 10. 400, 410, 420, 430, 440, 450, 460, 470, 480, 490, and 500. Okay, so that's going to change where I put my numbers on the number line. So now I have 483. Where is that on my number line? So here's 450. Each one of these is 10, so be careful this time. 460, 470, 480. So right about there is 483. Okay, so right about in here, let's draw our dot. 50, 60, 70, 80, 483 is about right there. Okay, I'm rounding to the nearest 100 right here. This time I'm going to look right next door. But this time when I'm looking right next door, look, it's the tens place. So you're always going to look at the digit right next door. So eight tens, is that five or more? Four or less. Well, that's five or more. So 483 is going to round 
So the next hundred is going to round to 500. Let's try another one. Okay, I went ahead and added the 700, because this is, we're dealing with 700, 800, and the midpoint, 750, 735, let's see, 700, 710, 20, 30, 735 is going to be right about 10, 20, 30, right here. Okay, 735. Okay, now I'm dealing with my hundreds. So underline your hundreds place. Let's look right next door. The next door neighbor is three. Three tens, 30. So I'm going to let it rest. Okay, five or more, it soars to the next 10 or the next 100. Five or four or less, you're gonna let it rest. It's gonna go down. Okay, so 735 rounds to 700. Now, last couple examples. Does this work with rounding to the nearest thousand? Well, let's start labeling our number line here. I'm dealing with the thousands here. That means my first place on the number line is 4,000. My next place on the number line, since I'm dealing with thousands, up here is going to be 5,000. You're asking yourself, is this number closer to 4,000 or 5,000? That's what rounding is, rounding to the nearest thousand. My midpoint is 4,500. Okay, not 50 this time, because this time you're dealing what's in between 1,000 and 2,000, right in the middle, 500. So because this is 4,000 and 5,000, right in the middle is 4,500. Okay, let's add 4,125 to the number line. So now this time it changes it too. Is this 4,001? Two, three, four, five. Nope. It's is it four thousand and ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty? No, because this is five hundred. So that means each one of these places is one hundred. Four thousand one hundred, four thousand two hundred, four thousand three hundred, four thousand four hundred, four thousand five hundred. Okay, each one of those is five is one hundred. So four thousand one hundred and twenty five, right about there. 4,125. So I'm rounding to the nearest thousand. There's my thousands place. Can we look right next door? Yes, the pattern is the same. Look right next door to the neighbor. Okay, there's a one in the hundreds place. Is that five or more or four or less? It is four or less, which means 4,125 is going to rest take it down to 4,000. 4,125 is closer to 4,000 than it is to 5,000. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the last example for you here, just as a quick review to see if it works again with this 1,000. Okay, so here I've set up my number line, 8,000, 9,000, 8,500, and put my number on the number line, 8,703. I'm rounding to the nearest thousand. So let's see, here's my thousand. Let's look right next door to the neighbor. The neighbor has a seven in the hundreds place. Five or more, four or less. Okay, five or more, is it, we're going to let it soar. Okay, so 8,703 soars to 9,000. All right, boys and girls, um, hopefully this was able to help you review and remember what we've learned in class. Go ahead and watch it again if you need practice in one of the different areas. And don't forget to watch the song again if you would like to practice singing the song to help you memorize and help you practice rounding to the nearest 10, 100, and 1,000.